evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Our main event should be a good one tonight. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Lopez is not giving us much indication of what kind of fight we're going to see based on this ring walk. Garcia is coming to the ring with his entourage of cornermen. But they look calm, cool, and collected. Hard to believe that they're going to be firing off punches within moments. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Number one, we talked They're about. scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. The man's up. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Work the body. And now he's targeting upstairs. seconds to go here in this round. Plus shot lands after blocking away his opponent's effort. Not much action as he just ties up. Taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counter punching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. <laughs> There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Ten seconds of round number one. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, 
He's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bit. He's confident. Here we go, round two is underway. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Garcia's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Goes up top with a right hand. Halfway through round number two. Listen, everybody likes to see a great knockout shot to the chin. But truth be told, at this stage of a fight, the foundation for winning comes by going downstairs. It's just like the old timers would say, Joe, you kill the body, the head will follow. Absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. He should tie up here. What a big shot. He got smashed that time. Now we're going to find out how strong a guy he is. Not physically, mentally. Can he get up? He is still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now, if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Solid. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? is back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. One, two, one, two. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. More intelligent than this. Let's go. You don't need that. I'll throw that Let's away. Considering the fact that in the last round, 
He got tagged hard. He looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the medal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. And he's holding. Let's see some more head movement. Lopez is doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. Garcia is crushed by a big right hand. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. He comes back moving. with the left hand again. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. That's what I want to see. Garcia is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Looking good. Little head hunting with the left. Back to the body. Lopez is showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. A well-placed overhand right. Blocks that punch. <sighs> and that's the end of round three. Okay, relax. How are you feeling in there? Just stay alert in there, okay? Just stay alert. I need you to, I need you to come forward with your power hand. All right? Cut them off. You need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Always good to get off to a good start, and that's exactly what he's done tonight on Teddy's scorecard, sweeping the first three rounds. The flash is just not showing me enough offense right now. He's, I mean, I understand he did get hurt earlier. Yeah, he did. But he still has to put something for it. Yeah, he does. It's kind of like that kid who gets his hand caught in a cookie jar. You know, <laughs> you're not going to give up eating cookies. You still have a sweet tooth. You want to still go back and get that snack. You better find another way. He needs to find another way. Lopez is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Garcia's got a big problem right now. We're still in the early goings of this fight, and he's breathing heavy. The only possible saving thing that's still there for him, though, is he does have power. He can pull this out of the fire. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Yeah, 
halfway through round number four. Nice! He just missed that shot up top. Lopez is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed He's that he tight. has? Uh, sure, tight. anytime you have speed, and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Yeah, good work. Keep moving, keep moving. Superb right hand lands home by the flash. Looking good. Garcia is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Back to the body. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. The Flash has got that look. He's got that look like, hey, I know exactly why I had success in that last round. He was able to stun his man, Teddy. Yeah, you can see that confidence, that body language. Now it's up to an adjustment from his opponent. like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Way to block there. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. is cranked by an uppercut. <laughs> Lopez is well off the mark that time. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Garcia is not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now he's trying to counter punch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went in to get his hair dyed, you know? And he thought, he thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, wow, what the heck did I do? Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. You can tell he's just looking to survive. Garcia's holding his opponent right now, just hugging him. Yeah, he's doing what he has to do. Look, they work on this in the gym, Joe. We look at all the things where you work on the pads, you work on the heavy bag, putting punches together, but you work on this on moments when you're in trouble and when you have to survive. 
Just like that, just like that. And bang, and away he goes. Oh, this is gonna be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. So the bell to end that round gets him out of danger. But Teddy, my concern is what is he even going to look like when the next round starts? Well, that's the thing. The corner's going to have to take care of that, get some ice on him. And also, they're going to have to think, do they want him to go back out? OK, listen to me. When he misses with a punch, count it. Don't look for just big punches, okay? Use your you speed. The water the Double corner. up your punches. I want to see thumb bumps. Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first anybody, round. He anybody. found a way to come back and knock him out in 11th. Is this another one of those nights? Blocks that belt line well. Lopez is putting one, on a show here. Defensively one, putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes. He's creating opportunities. Holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. There you go. Garcia is proving to be elusive. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Jump on him. Good smooth work by Garcia. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. You see him holding on. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Back to the body. Get him through. Able to counter that attack. Turns over the hook after turning away his opponent's shot. He's throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you got to shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you got to go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. You got this one. Double up on your punches. Yeah! Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Lopez, his corner, can do nothing but just applaud him as he returns to the stool. Yet another round where he put forth more and more punishment to his opponent. Yeah, well, they're applauding him, and they should thank his opponent for doing an imitation of a heavy bag. Relax. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. That's it. Now listen, I need you to keep working the body. And when his hands drop, uppercut and hook. Okay? Hook to the bottom. Six rounds in the books, six to go. Garcia's got to be asking himself, at least his corner's got to be asking, 
Can this go on like this? Can we continue to work at this work rate, throwing this many punches, and be this ineffective? So if he was a painter, he definitely wouldn't be Rembrandt because, you know, they're not clean strokes. They're not strokes that, you know, you look at them and they're paying off for him. I mean, he's more like doing finger paints. I mean, he's just throwing stuff at that canvas, and it's not looking real pretty right now. That's what I want to see. Uppercut got him badly. Big shot there. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? One, two, three, four, five. Garcia is back up, but is he back in the fight? We're gonna find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Keep working about it. Halfway through the seventh round. Wow, great action this round. Just halfway through, and they've already put on a full display. Well, if you love hot dogs and burgers, you want to go to barbecues. Well, if you love punches and bunches, you want to be at this fight. Not precise. Garcia's. Did you see that? Knocked down again. Unreal. Now, you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? Garcia's up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. Move your head. Nice. There's a straight right hand. He's tight. He's tight. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Good defense just covering up down low. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. That was that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Nice work. You don't need that. Keep it up. Keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. There you go. Okay. You're doing well. Let's get him some water. Take a deep breath. Relax. Here we are in round number eight. A look at Teddy's scorecard, and you can see Lopez's game plan has been applied to perfection. Yeah, it definitely has. He's been using that jab. You know, he's been taking care of offense, defense, crossing the T's, dotting the I's. Now all he has to do is make sure he doesn't fall asleep. Look at that! Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's over. The fight is over. Lopez's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count.
That's what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.